Hey, Crazy Will here today. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install Pavlo on your Oculus Quest. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how. Hey, Crazy Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, we're going to be talking about how to sideload Pavlo on the Oculus Quest. Now, just in case you don't know what the Oculus Quest is, you can look at my video right here. I did make a video, it didn't get a lot of hits because I got this three days after it came out, I bought it with my own money. Two weeks later, I wanted to make sure it was good, I did a review, had it out there before a lot of people, but unfortunately, all the major tech channels got one of these for free, I didn't, and I got trumped. So, being a lonely YouTuber's hard. Now, I'm not a gaming channel, as my followers know, but I do review certain games here and there, and they really don't get that many hits, and this probably won't be one of those videos that get a lot of hits, but I thought it would help a couple of people, and I decided to make a video on it because it's like the hundredth time that I've done this. Pavla is a first-person shoot 'em game. Basically, why I wanted the Oculus Quest. You could play online against other people, and you're actually in a military environment. You're able to pick up guns, you're able to cock them, load them, do everything like you're actually there, which is really, really cool. And it's a really great game. It started out with one developer, and I think it moved out to multiple developers. And it was supposed to be out December 19th, so I wasn't worried about making a video. But unfortunately, they pushed it back all the way to the end of February now. And I don't know if it's going to come out, but this is free. There's nothing illegal. You're just downloading it actually from the creator, and then we're going to sideload it onto your quest using a little program called SideQuest. Now, one of the key things you have to do is you have to go to Oculus's website, and I'm going to show you this, and register as a developer. It doesn't cost anything, really easy to do, you just sign up for it, and then you're able to activate developer mode in the headset. Now, to do this, obviously you need an Oculus Quest, and you need a USB to Type-C connector, which came with the Oculus Quest, so you can take that 10-foot cord and hook it to your computer and transfer the files this way. I have a spare one that I use to connect my Quest and upload new games. Now, another note, just to let you know, SideQuest has a lot of its own games that you can download and install as well. So this process can also be another way to get games that you normally wouldn't get, like Crisis. There's, there's a really cool old school video game called Crisis that you used to move around in at the arcades. You can download that and play on it. There's so many other games. Doom, actually. They re-outfitted Doom so you could play it virtually. So there's a lot of little games in SideQuest that you can download, not to mention certain mods for a game that you use with blocks and lightsabers. But we're not going to talk about those. So without further ado, let's take the USB connector, plug it in here, connect it to your Quest, and let's get on the computer, shall so we? So we're going to start off at this web page. It is developer at oculusquest.com. we got to go through this step first, guys. What we need to do is create a new organization. And it doesn't really matter. We're just creating a new organization. We're just going to click in here. We need to register to get into developer mode. So let's click in here. And I will leave a link down below. We're going to log in. And you can use your Facebook account. Log in. Log in with Facebook. Continue as William Gordon. And then you go right here and you create a new organization. And you put whatever you want. I'll put WG Designs. And I understand. And hit Submit. And then you created a new organization. And then that's it. Developer non disclosure I've read and agreed. Boom, boom, we're done. And that's it. So now we have the new organization. Now we should be able to access your headset and go into develop. So now we're on our iPhone. We're going to open up the Oculus app. All right. And what we're going to do is you're going to turn on your Oculus Quest at this time. So we'll turn that on and we'll go to settings and we'll click actually on your Oculus Quest and we'll scroll to more options and we're going to go into developer mode and mine's already turned on. You just turn that on and that's it. You're activated. You're in developer mode. So this will gain you access to your Oculus Quest files. So you can actually transfer the Pavla files over. So that's it for that. A little frustrating because sometimes he has it on his Twitter feed like you see right here and you can actually copy that link right there and then sometimes you actually have to go to another link and look for it that way but fortunately it's on his Twitter feed here there is another way to get it it's actually and I'll leave the link to this but his Twitter feed is the best way this is vrgames.io and you can go and it is free like I said and you can go to here 
And once you click in there, you can go to accept invitation. I don't know why it does this to me all the time, but if you just click on this and click on invitation and then reload the page, I think it's because it's Safari. But anyway, that's the feed and you can find the game there. And what I'm going to do from here is just take this actual link and we'll put it right up here. And that's going to download the game. And as you can see, it is downloading and I just did 20. And then it just came out with 22. So nine hours later, that's why I'm doing this video. So we'll let that download. After it's done downloading, I will show you how to upload it to your quest. Downloaded, let's go to the file of where it is. And we'll click on the Pablo zip file. We're gonna unzip it. Once it's unzipped, we have it here. It's build number 22 or whatever build you're up to at the time. He's supposed to release this soon. The next thing we wanna download is SideQuest. And this is a really cool app and we can go to download and they have it for Windows, Mac. I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna download the Mac. They even have a Linux version, which is pretty nice. So we'll download the latest version. I already have it downloaded, so I'm gonna go down here and open it up. All right, so from this point, you're gonna take your Oculus Quest right here, and we're gonna take the cable from the computer, and we're gonna connect it in, like so. And make sure your Oculus Quest is on. Now, if this is the first time you're doing this, you're gonna have to put the headset on and actually allow permissions for this app to connect to your Oculus Quest. So make sure you put the headset on, and you plug it up, and you see it, it'll say, grant access to this program. So we already have grant access to this program. So now we have the game, which is right here. We're gonna Open up the folder for the game and what we're gonna do is unfortunately I have to do this and I'll show this to you because you have to install the old one in order to get the new one in or so I've been told and that's always how I've been doing it so there's Pavlo right there I'm gonna click on that uninstall app let that remove let it go through its process okay and now we'll go to apps and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and the first thing we're gonna do is get this OBB file. This is the main file that we need. We're gonna click, we're gonna drag it right over where it says drop files here. And that's gonna upload to the quest. And it does take a little bit of time. Okay, that went through. Now we're gonna take one more file. It's the APK. And if you don't know what an APK is, it is an Android style file that will activate the actual program. So that was basically, from what I understand, and I apologize I may be getting this wrong and I'm sure someone will correct me down in the comments below but this file is actually like the framework and this is the actual executable file so we're gonna click and drag that right on top of here let that do its thing yep there it goes and then you get a complete right here so that worked so that's in there you want to go over to my settings settings and you want to scroll down and grant Pavlo audio permissions you click on that, make sure you get permissions okay, now you'll be able to talk. And now all we have to do is put the headset on and see if it worked. And you're gonna see three dots blinking in, in sequence. It, it should take about a minute. If it takes longer than a minute, then it didn't go through. Try resetting your headset. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so now we're in the headset. The navigation, we're at home, go to library. Once you click on library, probably saying that wrong, go to unknown sources and click on Pavla VR. All right, and it worked. And I don't know why it always says that for me, but it just does, so I hit okay. And now we can play online, and we're on build 22. And now you can play online. Okay, so that's how you install Pavla. And I hope I'm saying Pav Pavlo or Pavla. I don't know. People say it several different ways, and I believe the name is still going to be Pavla, but I think the, it, the ending changed. I think that you're changing the actual name of the game a little bit. I don't. I don't know why, but they are. A little side note: I've been playing this since build seven. He's up to build 22 at the time of making this video. If you're trying to go online and you're unable to do that, make sure you check his Twitter feed because as soon as he puts out a new build, like I'm hoping the next one will be build 23 or maybe the actually release it the online play stops and then you got to go through this process all over again hence why I made the video like I said I started at build 7 and now we're at build 22 hopefully this is coming out soon but if not I wanted more players on there and I wanted to support this project because I really I think this is what VR really should be and is a lot of fun and it's able to get online and, and able to talk to people and interact and play I think it's a really great project and I think it's a lot of fun and I think this is what's gonna put VR on the map personally but like I said I'm 
I'm not a big gamer, so, you know, the gamers out there might be looking at me like I'm a damn idiot. That's it for me, guys. If this helped you anyway, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Later, guys. I know what you're thinking, crazy Will's tech show's over, what do I do now? Real simple guys, you hit that like button and you hit that subscribe button and then you check out my other videos. It's not over, I made a lot, it's been a good year.